Welcome to an alphabet of fairies and the letter F. In this snippet of folklore, we will look at the Fachen, Folletti, and Folkgeferion. The Fachen is a very strange looking fairy creature from the highlands of Scotland and possibly one that is a folk memory of ancient Celtic or Pictish seers and spellcasters. Tales passed down through oral history and preserved as something strange, other, fairy. The Fachen is said to have one arm one leg, one eye, one toe, and one ear. And these are found all in a line right down the centre of his body, which is also covered in hair and feathers. Any human that comes close to his territory will be attacked with a huge spiked club that he always carries with him. He hates every living thing but most especially the birds, as he has a great jealousy of their ability to fly. So why could he be a folk memory of ancient times? Well, it was recorded that the seers, or shamans for want of another word, of the ancient people of the region, when casting spells or looking into the future, would change the dynamic of normality by standing on one leg extending one arm, closing one eye. This strange pose broke the norm and was believed that in this way the seer could be both in this world and the other world and as such could reach out and access hidden knowledge. This is an interesting idea for such a peculiar creature. Folletti can be found in Italy Fairies often looking like young children around six years old and yet look closer and you will see that their feet are facing the wrong way. They are also known to appear as little butterflies that never settle in one place and are known to play games, riding grasshoppers. Folletti is the female form of this species and they are the children of the fawns. In the main, these fairy creatures are quite kindly disposed to human beings, but as with all fairies, their temperaments can be very changeable, and so at their whim they can turn mischievous or even downright vicious. When in this malicious state, they have been said to attack women, causing madness or nightmares, and strangely some feel the need to turn all the pork meat bad. The Folletti travel on gusts of wind and in the whirlwinds. Indeed, it is said that if you see dust devils and the wind swirling leaves and dirt, these are the Folletti playing. If you are wearing a skirt, be aware that one of the things they love to do is send a gust of wind to lift skirts high above what is discreet. At the other extreme, these fairies can raise storms and winds so fierce that it will destroy crops and bring random snow and floods. These fairies are incredibly difficult to get rid of. It is believed that only the aid of a saint can help with this, or strangely, brown-haired girls. One very odd cure for the madness brought on by Folletti is to gather 101 eggs, and these must come from different people. These must then be fed to the sufferer at 30 a day until they and the madness are gone. Seriously friends, please don't try this at home even if you have been attacked by a Folletti. 
Phocophilion is a fairy cow that dwells in the Celtic country of Wales. The animals belong to a group of fairies that live near the lake of Llinbarfog, and these fairies wear clothes all green, and both their hounds and the fairy cattle are snowy white. There is a tale that a farmer once caught one of these fairy cows and it produced the most beautiful butter, milk, cream and cheese that no other could compare. This cow, this fairy cow, the farmer called Fochgefilion and it became famous far and wide. Thanks to the fairy cow, the farmer became very wealthy over time and with this came complacency. He decided that the cow was getting old and really the best thing to do with her would be to fatten her up for meat. The day of Fuka Filion's death arrived. She pleaded with huge eyes for mercy, but the farmer paid no heed. He lifted his arm high holding his club and swung it down with all his might and at the second that it should have hit the cow there was a deafening shriek and the club went right through the cow's head as if it wasn't there and the club hit and killed nine men who were stood watching nearby. From the nearby lake a beautiful fairy woman dressed all in green rose and she called the cow over in her own fairy language. The cow, once known as Fuchgefilion, followed the fairy woman into the lake beneath the waters, and they were never seen again. I hope you enjoyed this time's telling of tales. Take care, brightest of blessings, and remember, don't play with the fairy folk or you may end up in one of my folk tales yourself.